Season 10 of Roblox Bed Wars has just been released and they've added 20 different game mechanics. So today we're going to be trying to win every single game mechanic. So for the first game mechanic, we're going to get it over and done with and vote balloons and snowballs. Only one person voted Traveler Merchant and I still won the vote. So I guess this is going to be our first game mechanic. So we have nine minutes to prepare for the Traveler Merchant. So we want to try and collect as many emeralds and diamonds as possible so we can buy out the entire stock. But first, we need to at least get a tier one, which now costs six diamonds. So let's go buy the first error, giving us a 200% iron generator. Now, while my team is just going to camp the generator, I'm going to go around and collect as many resources as possible. And we have seven minutes left. I should have went an economy kit to make this all easier, but I don't think you could change kit as the map mechanic changes. I literally collected all of the diamonds around the map, so my team better be stacked. Everyone else has probably got a tier zero generator. We all know how painful it is being stuck on a tier zero generator. Let's just keep going around and collect all of the resources we possibly can. As soon as we get to use the map mechanic, I'm going to be winning the match so we can move on to the next one. Otherwise, every single match is going to be 20 minutes. But we may as well get the bed point in to increase our generator speed. All right, we have two minutes and 30 seconds left. So I'm going to go try and control the middle of the map. And hopefully six emeralds and nine diamonds is enough to buy the stock. If we fall in the void, we're going to lose all of our loot. So let's try not to do that. And we'll just wait for this traveler merchant and see what we can buy. I literally saved the void regen to save myself there. If I did it too early, I would be in the void right now. Smack in the void. And we got the kill anyways. And he just delivered me two diamonds and four emeralds. And this guy's collected a diamond, so we will be collecting that. Yellow team don't care about no traveler merchant. They've been breaking all of the beds. Into the void. Hopefully that's not a place that we're going to be going to. I'm just trying not to get smacked off in the void by these guardians. Ting, ting, in the void. Come on, merchant, hurry up and spawn in. 12 emeralds and 36 diamonds to spend. Wait, he's setting up shop? We still have to wait for shop. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that discounted price. I'll be taking that. Increase your team's damage. I'll buy your entire stock. We literally just used all of the items right there. Can you still infinitely fly with the glider? I don't know if I should be testing this right now, but we've made it to their base. We can glide and fly wherever we want. And now let's finally go break that bed. All right, I think it's time we go win. <laughs> we got an emerald sword which usually costs 20 emeralds. But we were smart enough to actually use the map mechanic. And that is exactly why you should take advantage of the map mechanic. That is the whole point. We bought the entire stock. And now basically won the match. <laughs> I feel like the dragon egg mechanic doesn't show up very much, so let's try and win that. Six diamonds for a tier one is crazy. I mean, alternatively, we could just get bed plate in to increase our jet speed. Also, kill the whisper and get plenty of iron. All right, looks like everybody is in mid looking at this dragon egg. I don't know how this works. Time to hatch. Leading team yellow. Wait, why? Oh, you have to insert loot? Oh, nah. I should have been an economy kit, but I also didn't know I was going to get this mechanic. How do you insert loot? I don't even know how you do this. How do I? How do I? Oh, okay. You have to hold it. All right. We have 12 minutes to gear up and get as much loot as we possibly can. That's more than enough. To what? Did I just see that right? Why did they do that? I'll never know. Are they really just inserting? Oh, wow. They're actually putting emeralds in it and everything. I think yellow are currently winning, but we have plenty of time. They literally inserted emeralds like the pennies. Yellow are currently in the lead with this. What if they get taken out and lose the bed? All of those resources for absolutely nothing. And then they've actually just wasted all of those resources to not even get to use the dragon egg. That would be a pretty troll thing to do. Get them out and then they've just lost all of those resources. <laughs> you ain't getting this dragon egg, it's mine. We may be losing the fight, but we're going to be winning the war. Yellow team were temporarily winning, all right? Oh, and we've lost our bed. That's all right. We have 10 diamonds to put in there. What is that guy doing? Is he putting loot in there? Coming through. All right, how do I insert loot? Leader team yellow. How? What? How much loot did they put in? I think emeralds are worth a lot more. So let me go collect some. I just put in like 10 diamonds and it still wasn't enough. There's no way. How many emeralds did they put in? Why are people still hiding at the back of the map? Okay. Now, surely if you get them out, it resets the egg, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to secure the dragon egg. 
The more loot you put in, does it make it even more powerful? Because it's got 1,700 stacks. Back to collecting even more loot. I could have had the Emerald Age by now, but this map mechanics means a lot more to me. Now we've hit 2,000 stacks. This dragon better do some good damage because I've lost so much loot. And I'm only also doing like 8 damage. So this dragon better be worth it. Yo, this Eldrick has been chasing me around the whole map this entire game. We hit 3,000, but it didn't grow. Thank you. Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sick. And that's why I wasn't able to finish the series. But no matter how sick I am, it's not going to stop me from getting this dragon egg. Can we make the egg any bigger? Is it going to grow any bigger from 4,000? Oh, yeah, it, it, it's it's growing in there. This dragon's going to be born into the youngest billionaire. Oh, my goodness. This guy does 19 damage, and I do 8. I'm just taking constant tick damage from this Eldritch kit. Its rage is ridiculous. All right, we're, we're in the lead by so much. It's about to hatch, finally. Come on, dragon. Holy, he's a big one. I want to go and free cam and watch it. <laughs> Wait, is that it? No way, that's all the damage it's doing. Hey, eh? so far it's not doing very much. Four thousand stacks, and he barely does any damage. What's all that about? I feel scammed. This Eldrick does way more damage. Okay, and then the dragon's just attacking me instead. Everyone else seems to be doing a lot of damage though. This Eldrick just won't leave me alone whatsoever. Come on, dragon, do something. Okay, I think it kind of helped out there, and I still need more resources. Why can't the dragon kill the guys that are just sitting on top of their bed defense? I guess I'll be breaking the bed instead. Yes, finally! <laughs> Yo, we have so many diamonds. I'm not sure if Mac the K even exists anymore, to be honest. Is that, is that the dragon doing that or not? All right, let's unlock every single enchantment and then we get to choose. Crit strike. Where's the dragon? I spent all of those resources and he's already gone. Are you serious? Nah, that was, that was not worth it whatsoever. I should have just upgraded myself. Look at the amount of damage I'm doing compared to the dragon. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to try and cut him off until he runs out of blocks. Oh, never mind. All right, let's try glitch the enchantment table. I feel like it's one of those rarer ones, but you never know what map mechanic you're going to get, so you can't really, like, choose your kit beforehand. Unless you play, like, 20 rounds and try and get lucky. Put two blocks there. He has to bind down two blocks and we'll heal in time and then we can smack him off. Hey! hey, hey. And then let's kill this guy. Hey! Wait, does he have my merch? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It had to happen. Okay, getting all of these map mechanics is going to take a lot longer than I thought. Hold on, mate. I'm trying to sniff a nasal stick. I swear it's not even doing anything, right? I don't even. Like, what? What is so glitched about it? I don't even know what it's doing exactly. I guess we'll have to unlock the advanced version then. Let's go around and collect 35 diamonds plus another 50. Or however many it is to unlock magic too. Yeah, look, these guys are still on the first era. So if you don't get diamonds whatsoever, you're stuck on leather armor. <laughs> All right, we got glitched static. Isn't that just normal static? So what's so glitched about this? I'm so confused. Like, surely I'm not the only one that just doesn't understand, right? I just bought an enchantment and it's just disappeared. So that's what the glitched enchantment does. It just disappears. Well, I'm going to make their bed disappear then. His mouse must be glitched because he's facing the wrong way. <laughs> and he must be glitched because... I don't know, actually. Uh-oh, we have a problem. My teammate's going to come wipe him. I was going to go get a new enchantment, but I think it's game over. I don't, I don't know what's going I don't know what I'm looking at. All right, that was the most intense PvP battle I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so there's a lot more mechanics than I thought. I do not have the time to spend 20 minutes for every single one of these. So if you guys would like me to continue a part two, then let me know in the comments.